Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing design for you guys for Father's Day 2023. Father's Day is right around the corner, and I looked around and found a nice design that I think is going to have some deep meaning for Father's Day. So really, really cool. I've already got the pattern printed out to its full size and attached to our material with clear packing tape, and we're going to stack cut and make two in this project out of quarter inch material and finish one in this video. Now, I'm going to go about things a little bit differently. I've already got the backer board spray painted and sitting outside drying in the wind and all and it's just going to be some half inch material and I painted the backer black just to save some time and the reason I'm going about things differently is because I'm going to be cutting this project out with spiral blades yeah so really really cool the pattern does design in question is a father-son or a father-daughter fist bump so really really cool you can see I've drawn out how I want the frame to be and with spiral blades it's gonna be really really cool because there's no straight lines in the human body and really out in nature or anything so I think the spiral blade is really gonna capture that when we do the two fist bump and the bigger hand and the smaller hand now I will go back to my traditional number five reverse tooth blades or ultra reverse tooth blades to cut out the frame I think I'll be a lot more steady cutting out those straight lines and right angles and the pattern designer in question is H bodice or H bodice I hope I'm pronouncing that name right and I got this pattern off of the scroll saw village website it is a free website you can join and it's a great resource for scrollers worldwide they have an amazing pattern catalog where this pattern came from and I'm not going to show you guys drilling all the pilot holes as I said I've already spray painted the backer board so I'm gonna skip drilling the pilot holes so we can jump right in real time back to the scroll saw so I can talk a little bit more about the spiral blade let's get started over here on the scroll saw I now have all the pilot holes drilled over on the drill press and we are now back at the scroll saw and we have a number two spiral pegasus blade loaded into the scroll saw and before I get into the details I'm just going to show you the size difference of this and the blades compared to what I normally use now I usually use this number five ultra reverse tooth blade here is the number two pegasus spiral blade and you can see the size difference and it's very very fragile but it's going to make some great details and I think it's going to look more natural than if I had just used the straight blade and if I was cutting this out with just a straight blade it would take me around 30 minutes to do all of the details here the spiral blade is just to me a slower and more tedious cut and that's probably just my lack of experience using them I know there is dedicated spiral blade users out there in the scroll saw community that could tell you about these blades a lot better than I could but again here is the pack these are the Pegasus number two spiral blades and you can see kind of a magnified view of how they are so basically they are a twisted blade and allow you to have limitless throat depth and that means the back of the scroll saw you're limited to that when you are using a straight blade and you're always feeding into the blade the beauty of the spiral blade is I could have a piece on here two foot by three foot and just move the piece around like this and everything and you can cut in a 360 degree direction so really really cool I'm gonna do one pilot cut here in real time and then I'll put my dust mask and ear protection on and flip on the music and we'll proceed to the time-lapse portion of the video our first of many internal cuts done there you see it so really really cool and a lot more to go once I get this blade threaded through and the blade readjusted we will proceed to the normal portion of the videos I do And we are going to resume scrolling. Now I will take my own advice here 
since I am very unfamiliar with the spiral blades and take my time and let the blade do the work. Again, this is a smaller blade than I am accustomed to. I usually use the number five blades and this is a number two blade. So it is a huge size difference of the blade and the blade is way more fragile and it can take to snapping or popping very easily. And you can see here that I am not feeding into the blade. I am just essentially guiding the blade through the material making sure all of the cut lines flow. I hadn't done a spiral scroll saw project, a spiral blade scroll saw project in a while and I figured this would be an appropriate project to do it as well as with Father's Day right around the corner. The last spiral blade portrait I'd done was the Santa Claus portrait I'd done a few years ago to wrap up the end of the year. But I'm just taking my time and letting the blade do the work. Again, these are number two Pegasus spiral blades and Klingspore Woodworking Shop kindly sent these to me to try out. And they are of amazing quality. Keep in mind that the spiral blade can stretch a little bit, so you might have to keep adjusting your tension. I think I started on a four with the tension on my scroll saw and ended all the way up at five by the time the project was done. I really didn't know, and I'm not familiar with the lifespan of a spiral blade, but I will inform you that I went through two of the blades cutting this out. And with my unfamiliarity with the spiral blade, it took me around two hours to scroll this project out. Of course, the footage here is obviously sped up. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. And with me being a straight blade user on the scroll saw, it is almost ingrained in me to want to feed directly into the blade. So I had to keep telling myself mentally that I could go in any direction. And I can see how once you really get the hang of this project, you could really gel with a spiral blade and it can be a more relaxing cut. And now I'm gonna go along the perimeter of both fists here. And I drill pilot holes on each end of both the top and the bottom to get that flowing look. Now we'll cut out the bottom side here. And then I will take the spiral blade out and go and use my traditional number five blade to cut out the final right angle corners to release everything internally and then we will cut out the frame as well with the straight blades. Once again I downloaded this pattern at the Scroll Saw Village website and it's an amazing community and I will leave it linked down in the description box below as well. Finishing up with the final interior cut here and then we will release both of the pieces from the waste material by just following along the straight lines here. I just kind of eyeballed it and drew out what I thought would be a decent sized border all the way around it. Now that all the scroll work is done, we can remove the pattern from the waste wood and proceed to sanding. I'm using 180 grit sandpaper in the palm sander and sanding the front and back. And again, the backer board was already spray painted and sitting outside drying. So it was just time to stain here with Minwax wood stain, making sure to saturate all the areas. And then we wiped off the excess with some t-shirt material. And when that dried, it was time for the glue up. And I'm just using medium grade CA glue and activator and spring clamps and the strips of wood that I will add here 
add pressure to the center details to make sure that the glue grabs everywhere. And I will let this dry around five minutes before coming and removing the clamps. And then it will be back to the scroll saw for the last time, once again using the straight blades to trim along the perimeter and get the final size of the piece. And then all the scroll work will be done. We will quickly step to the belt sander and smooth everything out. And then we will go and stain the edges and the back. And this is how I do all my portraits like this to make sure the scroll work and the backer board kind of blend together to look like one solid piece. But once this dried here on the back, it was time for finish and that was several coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss and the project was complete. And here we have the completed father-son or father-daughter fist bump piece cut out completely on the scroll saw just in time for Father's Day 2023. Again, it's right around the corner. So really, really cool. I had a lot of fun making this and it was cut out 99% with these spiral blades. Of course, right there at the end for the tight corners and the long straight lines, I switched back to the traditional straight blades that I primarily use to cut everything out. But it came out really, really cool. Now, if I had to cut this out completely with the straight blades that I'm more comfortable and versatile with this project might have taken me 30 minutes to scroll out because I've developed speed with those type of blades with the spiral blade here for me it was a dreadfully slow cut because of my lack of experience with the spiral blade I know there's dedicated spiral blade users out there that make beautiful portraits using them so for me it took me two hours to scroll this out so just keep that in mind if you're new and just learn them I'm still learning what pressures work well and it's ingrained in me to feed into the blade where as opposed with a spiral blade I can go in any which way and not have to worry about the throat at the back of the scroll saw of course this portrait did not max out the scroll saw but I have seen some that have maxed out the scroll saw and it was just practical to use the spiral blades I want to once again thank H bodice or H bodice hope I'm pronouncing the name right in one of those pronunciations for an amazing pattern he has a ton of amazing patterns and they all lend themselves to spiral blades because a lot of his portraits and patterns like this are of people are out in nature like landscapes and the nature of landscapes and the human body there is no straight lines that is why it's practical to use the spiral blade here as opposed to that crispness that you get right here when you do the right angles for the straight blades and everything just flows nicely and looks natural if that makes any sense and where I got the pattern was from scroll saw village that's where I downloaded this pattern a couple years ago I've just got a bunch of patterns saved and I finally got around to doing this. I did make this a couple years ago for some people and finally got around to documenting it on film but I will leave a link down to Scroll Saw Village down in the description box below this video so you guys can go and check it out. It's an amazing community. It's free to join and it's packed with tons of amazing scroll saw patterns including some of his designs so really really cool and once again I finished it the traditional way. I just stained it and clear coated it and painted the backer board black of course for this being Father's Day and and for the male and everything, you could do a dark blue, a dark green in the back, or do something totally different. Just paint a scene back there. But I love that universal symbol of fatherly bond with their kids, just fist bumping, you know, showing approval and appreciation. If your father is still living this Father's Day, I highly encourage everyone to go out and spend a little time with them. Maybe take them out to a nice meal or make something nice and handmade for them as we've done here today on video. My pops is still here with us and I am so grateful and thankful for that that I can reach out to him for guy questions and everything. I would like to spend a lot more time with him as both of my parents are getting older, but unfortunately with him, situations in life it don't get to happen as much as I'd like it to even though I would like to and I do cherish the times and the memories that we do get to make together but really really cool and I also think if you're good with photo manipulation apps or software like Photoshop or and all you could copy the little kids hand and add more depending on how many kids the father actually has but really really cool I had a lot of fun making this and I hope you guys like watching me make this if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at artisan pirate 
links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if i can make it or do it so can you i'm the artist and pirate take care and i'll see you guys real soon